in God in the process, you will close your ears to every discouragement. You will close your ears to every lie, to every criticism that people will give you. You know, if you read the story of John, you are you who are you for poor man at least? What he could the poor care how poor man do it like? When you call him man a pick his act, and most of them, the things they were telling him were only condemnation. Ni kumwambia kile ambavyo anaposea mtu. Ah, wewe kile mama yako unaenda kuzidi lazi na kuna kitu kifanya. Lazima kuna penye mfano kwa sababu mama yako anaandika hivi. But when you trust God in the process, you will know. And we are not the only The Bible says, and I will not leave you until the end of the age. See that what I'm back on which of what I have. So even in those problems related to the story I gave you earlier, you will know. Wakati kama huu umewaka moto hivi, it is not me. It is Jesus that is walking with me on this path. It is Jesus that is carrying me. There is an English song that says, Jesus take the wheels. You will know. It is no longer me driving, but Jesus driving my life. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why Paul says, I count everything rubbish that I may gain in Christ. Kila kitu. It is no longer me living, but Christ that lives in me. And so when things come, you trust God in the process. I spoke about this when we were began, beginning the issues of Corona. And I told people, trust in God in this process. It will surely come to an end. Is it coming to an end or not? It is coming to an end. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are a man that could put a bullet to me, you could have one on one. When you are a man that could say, man, when you are a man that said, I'm feeling that you took a mask move, I can only get a cat use a woo. When you are a man that could say, I'm feeling that you took a ski to a gun, I can get a baby when you are a man. Na huna aibu kila siku saa tisa bado mnakuongelesha kutuambia eh interaction tiko hapa telecom people contact us we want to know we know you are guests we know but we are trusting god in the process because in due time this time round i can tell you as a man of god from this altar this time round these of us as our doctor kama siyafu sitawatoka kama nyembe and I'm not telling you about the end of the day. And then the jiggers. It will come out from your from your stomachs. You cannot play with people's lives like that. No way. Enough is enough. And the church in Kenya must arise. Amen. We are taking up government in the name of Jesus. Amen. We shall not vote in irresponsible people and start praying for you. No. We don't want to vote in prayer items. We want to vote in answered prayers. Amen. Trusting God sets you to accomplish what your forerunners failed 
Trusting in God in the process will cause you to accomplish what your forerunners fail. Kumwamini Mungu katika maisha yako na mambo ambayo unafanya ama hali ambayo unapitia itakusababisha utimize kile ambacho walio kutangulia walishinda. In the morning I was telling people wewe Mungu amekujalia ukunua gari. Hata ulete gari kwa church iwe dedicated to the work of God unakimbizia wazee nyumbani waitemee hata. That's what you say. Mambo zingine hata ziko na kibi. Eh yende ikatemee mate na wazee. Wazee ambao hawajawahi endesha hata kisuluni. Au ni unamwambia sasa wanajua mambo ya magari. Hata hawezi kukuadvise chochote kuhusiana na Trusting in God in the, with the process cause the people accomplish the people above you walio kutangulia walishindwa Angalia Genesis 11:31 nataka uone kitu hapo Kuna kitu ambacho baba ya Abraham alikuwa anakifanya Unajua ili Mungu amwambie Abraham toka uende kwenye nchi ambayo nitakuonyesha ambayo ni kanani kuna yule alikuwa anapaswa kufika hiyo kanani lakini katika mstari wa 31 Biblia inasema tena tu kisal Abraham his grandson Lot son of Haran and his daughter in law Sarai the wife of his son Abraham and together they set out from Ur of the Chaldean to go to are you reading with me yeah. to go to Haran But when they came to Haran, they did what? They said, don't there. They did not go to Cana. It was his father that was supposed to go to Cana. But he did not go to Cana. Come on, somebody. There are people here, it is your parents that were supposed to enjoy some amount of success in life. But when they go to a certain place when it was the end of now it is you as a son as a daughter to rise up to the occasion and trust the Lord in the process and accomplish that which they did not accomplish Amen. I want somebody hallelujah Amen Nichukumu lako kumwamini Mungu ya kwamba mimi ndio nitapeleka hicho to the next level Leo was come from families whereby People used to be this. Ukipatana na mtu anakuambia, "Hey, mimi niliona hivi bwana, tulikuanga." And then what happened? Tulikuanga hivi na hivi. Now, the only thing you need to do is to look at your trust and focus it to God. And when Abraham listened to God, he put out of the flesh heart. Mahali ambapo walisema, "Wewe kumbe ni baba yao aliwaleta na akawasema hapo." safari ikakuamia hapo wamekusomesha wamekufikisha mahali fulani ukakuamia hapo ukarudi kwa village ukakuwa kama wale wengine sasa wewe ukakuanga baada ya example hata ni masomo usaidi tunaona hawa wao si walisoma wako wapi si wako tu hapa you become a bad example now today by the anointing of the living god every stagnation that was occasioned in your life as you trust God in the process may it be broken in Jesus name Amen. Hallelujah Amen. every stagnation must be broken so trusting God in the process enables you to accomplish that which your people before did not accomplish so Abraham moved to Canaan Sarah did not make it. But that did not make mean that Abraham, Abraham will not make it. Hallelujah. Amen. The parents did not make it. It does not mean you cannot make it. Your employer, the one that was looking like successful and you thought muta enda na yeye paka mwisho, did not make it. That not mean you cannot make it. You tried but A, you tried but B and you did not make it. It does not mean that you cannot make it. It only means you trust God in the process of making hallelujah Amen. in the process of making we are here to kuambia watu wanapendana kutufurahia matunda hawapendani kufurahia the process itself and the process itself is very hard 
The process is tough. The process is not easy. People would want to eat chips when they are cooked on the table. But there is a process of preparing the chips. And the process of preparing chips, look at every one of us here, they will say it starts by feeding the potatoes. But that is not the case. It starts by, number one, feeding the lamb. For that potato to be brought to be filled, it was planted. It starts by picking the land, harrowing the land, and then getting the right seed, planting the seed. It, it requires fertilizer. It requires kupalilia. After that, there is also the harvesting. And after harvesting, there is transportation. All that is the process just to make chips edible on the table. Do not despise the process. Amen. Trust God in the process. The process may be painful. The process may not be so good. The process may not be so encouraging. But some of us need to be beaten down. Some of us need to be brought down so that God will be glorified in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I once came down. As I speak to you today, I was doing very well in my life. Until some things happened and I went down, I lost the car, I lost everything I had. And I went to this place called the sinner. I was living in a Mabati room, Mabati room here 10 by 10. And able to pay. Number one, because we were hosted by one of our number one online member, is in Qatar, the boy. We were living in the same room with her. With my wife and my son, Imanu. On the floor, Hallelujah. I was living in the same room with her. With my wife and my son, Imanu. We were brought down. And as we were brought down, we felt like the world had crashed on us. We lived there and able to pay even the 500 shillings for rent. We took the next house, Yamabat, still sleeping on the floor. On the floor, on a mattress that has no cover. So when you see me driving today, don't just think I, I woke up and got here for banner. People have gone through processes. Amen. But they trusted God in the process. You want to trust God. You want to become great. But you don't want to trust God in the process. A process is not a one-day event. No. Process is not a one-day event. I think as we go a journey, process is a When we talk about it. The problem we have today is microwave Christians. You want things to happen. Thanks to family bank, first of all. So you want life to change. Pop. Pop. Never happens. God prepares you. And if I am speaking to you and you are going through a process, I want you to know this today. That God never glorifies himself if there is no process. Amen. There must be a process. If I would not have gone through that, because I can't there are people who cannot give a testimony because they have no testimony at all. But God delights in testimonies. Yes. The Bible says, and they grew stronger by the testimonies of the brethren as they shared the testimonies. And they grew stronger and knew that God is faithful. Some people offer me some money. Some of you may never have heard it. Some people will come and tell me, just a little bit, and I can be out. Why don't you give me this amount of money? What can I do it will be? Just come and do other stuff out here. If you do not have an experience with God, if you were not cooked in a process, you will easily give up on your own. Mm -hmm. You will easily say there is no God. You will easily turn your back on God. But the Bible says, after all is said and done, Job received seven times what he had. And his daughters were the most beautiful daughters in art. What does this mean? When you say, I have my beautiful wife, I don't like to give her a job. Zipu, I want to see you and go and cry. 
And the Bible says there were no beautiful daughters like those ones of John. But there was a process. Now you saw it in some of the 40 chapters of John. When you have somebody on the to their job, as we walk at John with Melissa, it was not one day. Hallelujah. It was not one day. Trusting God in the process is not a destination, it's a journey. Trusting God, sio mahali penye unapitanga, ni safari ambayo unapitianga. Unapomwamini Mungu. It is a walk. It is not a destination. Trusting God in the process. We lived in that place for I think it was around a year or two. When he, and we stayed in that flesh, in that Mabati house, I looked for work. That is when my wife started selling soap. He is a kuzungusha. Na masiwa. I looked for work. I got a job teaching a secondary school. Ukisikia hivyo unasema sasa kulikuwa kuzuri. No. I was teaching in the secondary school in the Gokuna Jina Apoje, that it was glory secondary school. But there was no glory there at all at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was teaching one student who was not understanding. <laughs> Can you imagine? They were like, number one, glory am I a Kuna? Mona Fuzi, Nimumaja. Mujawe Ashi.
Don't you know there are people that are moving with, with all their luggages on their back, having nowhere to sleep? Hallelujah. Just go in the process. See, do you know what God is saying? Number three, trusting in God causes supernatural protection. Causes supernatural protection. God protects you supernaturally. Who wanna pull in that and who was a kiungu? I'm out of season on a dam. Who was a man of dam? Who was in a sheet of pulling that you're flying? But when you trust God in the process, my friend, God protects you supernaturally. After your money, a babo, una pita katika diao, a house born. That is where you pass it there, and they cannot see you. They look for you and they cannot find you. That is the name of the Lord. Genesis chapter 12 from verse number 10. So how is Abraham protected supernaturally from trusting God? Now there was a famine in the land and Abraham went down to Egypt to live there for a while because the famine was there. As he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife, right, I know what a beautiful woman you have. But the Egyptians will say this to his wife, then they will kill him. Kill him. But he let you say you are my sister, so that I will be treated well for your sake, and my life will be spared. Now, from there, fast forward to verse number 19. Right to say, why did you say she is my sister so that I keep her to be my wife? Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abraham to his men, and they set him on his way with his wife and everything he had, and everything that he had. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at verse number 17. The Bible says, but the Lord inflicted serious diseases on Pharaoh and his house, household because of Abraham's wife, Sarah. Was it Abraham that was protecting his family from the Pharaoh, or was it God's own divine dream? It was God. God caused a serious. Huh? <laughs> I like this version. He says, inflicted serious diseases, not one. You know, come up, Biblia, one is from Biblia, one is from Biblia. Come in, you call it just more, or you can't get it more. Magonjua, serious. And all this was being done so that Sarai would be protected for Abraham. Now, when you trust God, He causes supernatural protection over your life. This is how people wonder when you be where how to pass your life at the land. What you will give you a to life, more than where how to pass your life. What you want to look, there was something where he was living, and he had to go down to Egypt. When you talk about going to Egypt and you look at the children of Israel coming out of Egypt, Egypt is slavery. Egypt is not the best place, but there was food. Hallelujah. Amen. There was food there. And so he had to beat his pride and go down there and say, okay, fine. Huku. Sio mahali ambapo ningependa kuwa. Lakini nimejipata niko huko. What will I do? I will go there, but the Lord will protect you supernaturally. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Nimekosa job. Ile tu inapatikana, inapatikana kwa hoteli. Lakini mimi ni msichana mdogo, kama ikiza kesi hii. Nikienda pale, na mtoto yuko ndio ah. Nikienda kwa hiyo hoteli, nitaanza kumuliwa na kumwona. But that is the only place I can make money. If you trust God in the process, you will go there and God will inflict serious diseases on those that come to be starting. So that you are protected for God. Hallelujah. Amen. Egypt. Adam goes there. And his wife is protected on his account. Until the king asks 
kwa nini ulinidangana chukua hii kutu yako na mali yenu yote what does your father with everything that Adam had they were told to leave in other words alikuenda huko akuenda karamia msikio alienda na akafanya kiti Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Trust God in the process. Even though what you are doing is not what you desire, do it with a lot of joy. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Even if what you are doing is not what you wanted to do, do it with a lot of joy and God will bless you. Amen. Amen. There is a story that I've been doing now and I think he was giving me that story. You never know when you are doing something what will happen. There is a guy who has been carrying some people on the road with a bag, right? And our neighbor who was from jail. Even a young and contractor on jail. And our band. And one of the guys he carried was a what? Was a watchman. Watchy what I like. Like I used to have an honor of Jack. He said, you find that some of the man who was famous. Can you help it? Or do a watchman who has turned his life. Is he still a watchman? He cannot. How now? One day, watch it. You let go about it. And you listen about some people who wanted to do a project. And he said, There is a guy. And I told him, 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 I told Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Do what you are doing diligently and trust God in the process. Come on and serve for them. Serve with a good attitude. Why don't you serve what you come and do? You can find that you can go and achieve that for Israel. What the good on the young is done in the kila mtu wa njia na njia. You know what? You are not going to jump. You come and do. You are not going to share. 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 Trust God in the process. Kuna watu wengi wanaenda kwa wakati wa kamati ya rocha. Trust God in the process. Kuna there some get people. You go to a place they open for you the gate with a smile. You get back into your pocket. Kuna watu God will support you and your life will change. Trust God in the process. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Trust God in the process because that is what God wants to do in your life. It is just a process. It may take two years. It may take even five. Because the end of God, of your of yourself, marks the beginning of God. But that beginning, we let the God be. We shall not be a Jew. God has the good genes. The disaster. Test. Test. Before start going down. Hallelujah. It is important for you to understand that. Trusting in God for supernatural protection. Many times we get to know about what is it? We normally think that this is coming to an end. You know what the enemy does? The enemy likes to pull you down. The enemy will want you to feel downcast, so that at some point you lose your trust in God. But then, let me give you a very interesting analogy here. I want you to realize something. When the devil is fighting you, the the first thing you do not put down a do is just hold up. You never watch it. I never realized that. I never realized. I don't know what I'm talking about. Lakini sasa watu hawanaanza kupiga magoti na opportunity to pray. Watu wanapiga magoti na wanaanza kuchimbia bila kisha ilikuwa mbaya. But when you are on your knees, it is a reminder that you when you need the power of God you will stand with strong men. Amen. And that is when you pray and say God and thank you even though things are bad, I am on my knees for you God. I am not kneeling before this man. I am kneeling before you. And do you know what they go ahead and tell you? Na na chini, na na chini, na na chini. Na na chini completely. And as you go down, you need to understand that whenever you are down, lying down on the ground, it is a sign of harmony. It 
only matters what you take it to be. Is it an opportunity to love God? Is it an opportunity? I am down. I am down. I am down. I am down. I am But are you praying? You are down. You are bitter. You are down. But are you praying even though you are down? Because when you lie like this before God, and God is looking at you from the top, then you are bigger than when you are standing. Will you allow the devil to cause you to destroy God in the process? Stand up on your feet in Jesus' name. I want you to open up your mouth and ask God that where I have lost trust in you, God, I want you to help me to regain my trust in you. I know that the enemy has pushed me down. I know that the enemy has caused me to stumble. I know that the enemy has caused me to hurt myself. I know that the enemy has caused me to lack trust and believe in you. I have stopped believing in you. I believe that you can take me out of the situation. But it has been very tough for me. God, it has been very tough for me. I come back to you. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. I want to trust in you. I want to trust in you. I want to trust in you. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. I don't want to trust in chariots. I don't want to trust in money. Because money can never solve the issues of life. It can buy me a house, but it cannot buy me happiness. It can buy me a nice bed, but it cannot buy me sleep. But it cannot buy me hand. God, I want you. I want to trust you in the process of sickness, in the process of lack, in the process of poverty, in the process of struggle, in the process of joblessness, in the process of small business, in the process of overcoming Corona.
You do not struggle with who did what to you and why they did it to you. When your trust is in God, you know that whatever things that you need done will be done because you have God. Father, I pray that everyone under the influence of this voice today will be able to trust you in the process. Many are going through the processes of struggle, difficult situations. And others is not really a difficult situation, but even a situation where they need to make a choice and to make a decision. That process, oh God, I pray that you will take charge. Whatever processes they are going through, dear Lord, I pray that you may help them to make the right choices and the right decisions. I pray that Lord you will give them an action of the Holy Spirit to understand which is the right way. What says that you shall hear a voice from behind you say, This is the right way, come you into it. I pray that you will open their eyes of understanding that they will be able to see what you want them to see. Right now. I thank you and I honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen. amen. to support this ministry, you can give through the team number that is on the screen, 289521. I think that is the number, and I know God will bless you. We received some seats uh, last week, but one, when uh, we were doing a live service from Facebook, one of the viewers said, uh, buy us some five seats. We appreciate, so we also appreciate the online viewers, those of you who found time to follow the service, to bless the Lord because of you, in the name of Jesus. And so as we say bye to the online viewers, because we have to continue back here at home, we pray that God will bless you. Let us say that God bless the viewers in Jesus' name. God bless the viewers in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.